Hey, good morning, everybody. Just got done taking some pictures of my 72 Monte Carlo Custom over at the park. This is a lifelong Arkansas car that I purchased from the grandson of the original owner. So I am the second owner of the car. I have complete documentation on the vehicle, including the canceled check when it was purchased, the dealer invoice, uh, window sticker, two build sheets that I found in the car, photo of the car when it was nearly new, the shipping information when the car was delivered to the dealership, which is pretty neat as well. Just thought I'd take you along here for a quick ride. The car has 54,000 original miles. It's a 402 big block car with the 72 only custom package, which is pretty cool. Uh, about 1,200 customs were made in 72. Not quite sure how many of those had big blocks. Uh, the custom package gave you the F41 suspension that was typically common in the uh, super sport cars of 70 and 71. So the car has box rear control arms, uh, heavy duty sway bars, and uh, I believe that may have included heavy duty shocks as well. Uh, in addition to that, the car came with the really cool like turbine style Corvette hubcaps, added insulation throughout the car, the lighting package, and the uh, belt moldings that are on the tops of the doors. One of the things that I'm going to go ahead and buzz the windows up. You can hear that speedometer giving me a little bit of grief. I'm going to have to go in there and maybe uh, lube that up with a little bit of graphite. Um, some of the other really neat options on the car include uh, factory buckets and console, factory cruise, which works, AM, FM stereo radio. You could get uh, AM and FM, but then to add the stereo was uh, another option as well. Rear speakers have been replaced uh, with correct 10 ohm speakers, stereo sounds dynamite. I'll play that for you in a little bit. Uh, the purpose of the video here is just to show you how nicely the car runs and drives. Uh, the car is an unrestored survivor that uh, had been off the road for quite some time. I'll go ahead and uh, come back in just a sec.